Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us discuss in detail about number systems and their conversions guys. Okay, so this topic is really easy and important guys. So you can expect a direct question like from one conversion to another question directly in every year there is a question guys. So that is the reason why this topic is really interesting and it is easy also. It will take hardly one minute guys to solve the problem. Okay, yes. So even in 2021, the question was really small and easy. Okay, yes. Okay, so before going into the concepts of number system and all those conversions, uh, so basically number system is divided into two parts, guys. So the first one is a real life number system. So basically what we use in our real life uh, and in computer science. Okay, so what we use in real life is, uh, so we use unary or binary. Okay, so we can count them based on 0 and 1, right? Yes. Similarly, in decimal, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, how we count normally. So these countings we already know, right? Yes. When it comes to computer science, we work with the bases, guys. So we say base 2. Means in that list, we will have only two numbers. That is 0 and 1. Similarly, octal means 8. So base 8 it is called as. Okay, so this is binary, this is base 8, means 0 to 7. So basically totally 8 elements. Similarly, we are having the hexadecimal, base 16. So most of you are saying like, okay, so 0 to 9 is okay, that is 10. What about the rest 6? So rest 6 are nothing but the alphabets, guys. A, B, C, D, E, F. So A acts as a 10, B acts as 11, C acts as 12, D acts as 13, E acts as 14, and F acts as 15. So this is all the types guys and these are the primary computer science used structures okay N number system variables okay yes okay so first of all let us start solving some problems so that you will understand it clearly okay yes so now you got the idea right the overview of the number system right yes okay so now let us start so I'll be following the exact examples in the book guys because in book I have detailedly thought of everything and I have wrote it in such a way that we can solve them easily. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let us start. Okay. So the first type of conversion which we will be learning is converting a base 10 number to base 2. Okay. So base 2 is nothing but binary. So basically what we are doing exactly here guys, we are converting it into a binary number, right? Yes. Okay. So what we are we doing here? So he, we will perform a LCM guys. So for 17 you will write there, you will write 2 here. So what is the LCM? It will be 8 minus 1. So the remainder I will be writing it beside. Okay, similarly 2 sir, 2 4 sir and remainder no. 2 2 sir and remainder no. 2 1 sir and remainder no. Okay, so once this process is done, I will write from bottom to top guys. That is nothing but 1 0 0 0 1. This is a nothing but 17 base 10 value in base 2. So most of you will be saying like, how can I confirm it? I'm having some doubt here. Okay, so what's there in that? So multiply this with 2 power 0. This with 2 power 1. This with 2 power 2. This with 2 power 3. This with 2 power 4. And add them. So here we will get 16. Here you will get 0. Here you will get 0. Here you will get 0. And here you will get 1. So in total it is nothing but 17. So it's matching. So that is the binary representation of 17 guys. Okay. So now most of you will be saying that okay. So we got the idea about binary. Now we want to learn octal. So most of you will be excited right. Yes. So now let us try 17 base 10 equal to question mark in base 8. Okay. So most of you I think you also got the idea how to convert it right. Yes. So do LCM with 8. That's quite interesting, right? So, sorry, 17. So, 2 are 1, right? So, this is a nothing but the value. So, 17 base 10 equal to 21 base 8. Okay. So, now one of you will be saying that, okay, so how can I confirm this? Can you say that? So, you will be asking me, right? So, what's there in that? So, instead of 2, do for 8. So, 8 power 0, 8 power 1. Okay. And you add them. So, 8 power 1 is 8, 8 twos are 16 and 8 power 0 is 1, so 1 into 1 is 1. So in total it is nothing but 17. It's quite interesting, right? Yes. Okay. So now few of you will be saying that, okay, so what about base 16? Okay. Is equals to question mark base 16. Okay. This is base 10. That is base 16. So do LCM with 16. What's there in that, right? Yes. So it is nothing but 1. And the remainder is also 1. So basically it is nothing but 17 base 10 is equals to 11. Base 16. Got it? Yes. So one of you will be saying, how can I confirm it? Okay. The same process. So one 
into 16 power 0 and 1 into 16 power 1. It is nothing but 16 plus 1 that is 17. Quite easy, right? Yes. So now most of you will say that, okay, so we got the idea. Okay, that's really good. That's really good, right? Yes. So now what did you learn guys here totally? If you observe carefully. Now, if I give a binary number, okay. So the first step. So if I give you the binary number, you can convert it into base 2, base 8 or base 16. So one of my friend will be saying, okay, so you know for 2, 8, 16, what about base 5? Is there anything like that? So in examination, in examination, the evaluator might create it. So he will say 17 base 10 equal to question mark base 5. What's there in that? So what will be in 5 guys? So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So you will perform the same operation. So 5s are, okay. So 5, 3s are 15 and the remainder is 2. So it is nothing but 32. Base 5. 17 base 10. Okay, so if you want to cross check, it is a 5 power 0 and it is 5 power 1. That is a 15 plus a 2. That is 17. Got it? Yes. So what did we learn here in total? Okay. So the thing which we learnt in this whole page is, okay. So we learnt how to convert base 10 number into any base guys. Simply you can say. Okay. And if you recall, we did one more thing. So from a base 2 also I showed you how to convert it into base 10. So the reverse process also we have learnt. So any base to base 10. So these are the two things which we have learnt in the past 2 to 3 minutes guys. So that is the exact thing which is written in the book guys. Okay so this is the first conversion and this is our second conversion. Got it? Yes. So now you are getting the idea right. So why did I take a single example and solve each and everything on it right? Yes. Okay, so now few of you might be saying that okay, so in examination can we expect these type of questions and one of you will be like, like we never saw these kind of questions, we always see like this, so 17.25 base 10, what is the value in base 2, so these type of questions we expect, every time they will give decimal only, so few of you will be like that, right, yes, so now let us learn how can you convert this in the opposite way. Okay, so this is also really easy guys. So for our easy understanding and not wasting much of the time, I'll be showing you for base 2. You can try for base 8, 16, 5, any random number you want. Okay, yes. So base 10, right? Yes. So the first step what we will do is you will separate this guys. So what we will separate is the first part is 17 and the decimal part is 0 0.25. Okay, so once we have separated them here on 17, you will do LCM guys. So 17. So if you recall, you can directly write it. I'll be directly copying it guys okay 1 minus 0 and it's done okay yes so we'll write from top, bo top bottom to top so 1 0 0 0 1 okay so this is base 2 so here this is the part for 17 right yes but what about 0.5 so should we do lcm or we should do anything so can we do lcm for 0.25 guys i think uh, that sounds really different right yes okay so what we do is uh, instead of uh, doing lcm we multiply Okay, so concentrate guys. So we do into 5. So what is the result? It is 0 0.50. So again for this, you will perform multiplication. So what is the result? It is 0, 0. So from now on, you will perform into 2. So it will there be anything guys? So you will get 0 0.00. So the thing what we do here is, you will multiply our required number with the uh, denominator which we want, with the base which we want. Okay. And we multiply we until we get a 0, 0 at the end guys. That is nothing but you should get x dot 0, 0. So x might be any number. Okay. And you always take, so assume that here we got 1.5. 5, 0. So in the next step, you will not take this one. You will take only 0 0.50. So below less only you will take. Got it? Okay, so anyway, while solving PYQPC, you will get more and more idea, guys. Okay, so don't worry. Okay, so here we took from bottom to top, right? So that's the reason why here you will take top to bottom. That is nothing but, and you will only take these values, guys. This one, sorry, this zero and this one. Okay, so it is zero one, base two. Okay, so now combine them. So one zero 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 one dot zero one. Got it? So base two. So one of you will be saying that, okay, so how can I confirm it? Previously, you told that this, but now how can I confirm? So the same process, guys. Here, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4. On the other side, you do reciprocal. That is a minus 1, minus 2. Sounds really interesting, right? Yes. So this part, we already know you'll be getting 17. And plus a 0 into something is 0. And 1 by 4. So what is 1 by 4? Right? It is nothing but 0.25, right? Yes. So what we got? 7.25. What we converted? 7.25. So this is the conversion, guys. So what we have exactly learned here is, uh, so we learned to convert uh, 
base 10 value to any base so even though it is decimal it might be normal number any number we can convert now and you can do the reverse process also any base to base 10 okay yes so now i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes okay so in the next lecture we will continue with some more tougher problems guys so what we will learn in the next lecture is we will try to convert binary number to octal or hexadecimal and those kind of conversions got it yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this uh, conversions which you have discussed till now so in the next lecture let us continue with the next thing thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you